are you? I'm good. good. Enjoying the weather and Me spring. Me too. I'm so happy <laughs> spring is here. Finally. Yeah. <laughs> oh no. Here she comes. Oh no. Should we stay? Some Let's sort see. of distraction Let's maybe. Let's not Hey y'all. It's so good to see you. Guess what? My cousin TT just brought us a box of Botox to the party. Hello and welcome to Chief Joe's Art Stuff. My name is Julie and I'm here to impart some knowledge to you today via a two minute art tip. And today we're talking a little bit about when alcohol can be your friend. As in sharp contrast to Mitzi there who Alcohol is clearly not her friend. But around the studio, a little bit of rubbing alcohol can be a fantastic tool for your art. If you haven't ever tried any of these kind of techniques before, we have covered several of them in, in videos past, so I'm not gonna blather on about that. But in conjunction with pouring, you can use alcohol, rubbing alcohol with those. I have used alcohol with my acrylic painting in terms of like taking off excess paint and also erasing subsequent layers to reveal layers in, in between. There's a whole video about that. More often, I find that alcohol is a great tool around the studio. It easily, easily removes dried on acrylic paint from hard surfaces like my uh, work table. Also around the sink area where if you dribble a little bit, it's great to clean up. Also on things like my, my painting tools and also on brushes. So if you've just got some paint that's a little bit dried on there, soak it in a little bit of rubbing alcohol, either 50 or 70% isopropyl rubbing alcohol will do the trick and clean them up wonderfully. Also, if you get a little bit of buildup around the ferrule, it's not bad, but it, you know, a little bit will clean them up like magic. It's a fantastic thing to have around in your studio, not necessarily for drinking, but for cleaning up and all kinds of art projects therein. So uh, enjoy. Hey, happy Chardonnay day, y'all! 